everyone and welcome back. Today I will be showing you how to paint this wonderful acrylic ocean wave painting following simple techniques. A real-time extensive version of this painting with extra techniques and exercises is available on Skillshare. It is free for one month. Alright, so let's begin. So for this entire painting, I only use two kinds of blues, so cobalt blue and phthalo blue. And for the sky, we will use um, cobalt blue with tons of white. I'm going to keep the sky very simple, just a single flat color with a lot of white mixed in. I wanted all the drama and focus to be on the ocean part, so I left the sky quite plain. You can use any big flat brush for this step. I did want the line just above the horizon to be um, slightly more white in color, so I'm adding a layer of that just above it. So using a different piece of tape now, I am placing that right above the horizon so that we can still keep those clean lines coming through. So I'm sticking the cobalt blue and white, uh, but a bit more darker than the sky, but I'm still keeping it fairly light. Uh, essentially, my goal is to have a gradient from light to dark as we move downwards. Make sure to blend the lines in between each color, so wet your brush a little bit or use more paint and then just go back and forth with a few strokes uh, to blend the lines in between. Alright, so now I'm adding some black into this mixture to deepen up the colors a bit. So I'm working my way from uh, the bottom to fill those colors, uh, those deep colors first. This way it'll be easier to fill uh, the middle gaps after.
Feel free to remove and peel off the top tape since we don't need it anymore. This is where our second blue comes in, so get out that thalo blue uh, to work in details of the waves. So I'm mixing in thalo blue and some black. And then using a um, just like a medium sized flat brush. I'm first going to be targeting the darker portions of the waves. So the best way to describe painting waves is kind of like painting in heaps or flat mountains. So you go up a little bit, it hits a peak and then falls back down. So I'm really just using the same shape over and over again, but just making sure to change up the width of it. So, um, you know, some of them can be larger while some can be smaller and thinner. And the waves closest to us will be the biggest. And as you work your way backwards towards the horizon, uh, make them smaller. Once you reach the middle of the ocean, add a bit of white to your mixture of thalo blue and black to lighten up the shade slightly. Remember, as we go further back, things do appear to be much more light and small, so keep that in mind to get the right perspective. For the very top layer, I'm going to add even more white and I'm keeping my brush strokes super thin and small as you hit the horizon line. Using that same color, I'm bringing it down slightly all the way towards the bottom. I'm doing this quite randomly, but spacing them out. For the most part, I am applying these strokes right underneath the darker waves. At this point, you will see me going back and forth from lights to dark blues to make the ocean appear fuller and give it more depth. Alright, so I'm doing the same thing but pulling back some of those darker layers and going over certain existing sections with that and also adding in some new layers. I'm using thalo blue and black again with a little hint of white. So you kind of realize as you paint this that it gets quite easy once you get your base layers and your initial wave brush strokes. Then it's all about filling in those gaps and uh, with shades of blue ranging from light to dark and just keeping in mind that you know your strokes get much thinner as you move towards the horizon and they will be much thicker when they are closer to you. As long as you keep these essential tips in mind 
you've got a painting of acrylic waves. I'm quite lucky since I get to visit the ocean a lot since I live in California so paintings like this holds a special place in my heart since I love visiting the beach and it brings a lot of good memories with it. A lot of good warm summer memories and especially since we are in the midst of summer um, it's just really nice to be able to paint reflections of the ocean. I'm almost nearing the end of the ocean wave section. Next up, we will be painting in those shiny reflections of the water. So I would highly recommend a tiny brush for this and we will be using plain white for now and starting right at the center of the horizon. I'm simply using a stippling effect to get these teeny little short strokes. Be careful of keeping them tiny at the top and we will slowly get a little bigger as we move downwards. So as I move downwards, I'm being intentional of using slightly bigger specks here and spacing them out more as opposed to having them more clustered at the top. So now using your tiniest brush that you have, I'm going to give this a slightly sparkled look. I'm also using the smallest tinge of yellow mixed with white for that extra glow. So think of this as tiny little stars, so working my way across and then making uh, crosses on the side. 
It's very subtle, but when you look at the painting from afar, you will get little impressions of sparkle. Here I'm just adding in that yellow tinge color to the horizon as well to keep that glow and reflection all mixed in well so that the painting just flows all together. Here I'm adding in that yellow tinge color to the horizon as well to keep that glow and reflection all mixed in well. So let's take off this tape and see what we've got working with. Like mentioned, if you do want a real-time extended version of this painting, join me over at Skillshare for classes like this and much much more, plus get one month free. The link is below. And this completes our loose acrylic ocean waves for today. And if you do try this out, don't forget to tag me over at Instagram or share them with me at my Facebook group. I love looking at everyone's recreations, it always makes my day. I do appreciate all the love and support from each and every one of you from my orders lately, so thank you. And to shop my art, do visit my website. Thank you once again and happy painting!